Ah. What is this thing? Get me out of here. Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. Yeah, yeah. what? Mr. Williams, what's going on? I, I, I want to get out of here. I want to get out of here. Mr. Williams. You're keeping me. I don't want to. I don't want to stay here. Mr. Williams, I'm the nurse practitioner. Barb, remember me from yesterday? No, I don't. You're no. in the hospital. You're in the hospital. Get me out of here. Let me get your glasses for you. Delirium is a sudden onset of confusion that can happen when someone becomes ill. It can happen at any age, but those most at risk are the very young, the very old, and the very sick. Delirium. Um, I was told I had that, and I was very confused. Um, I misinterpreted a lot of um, um, things in the environment, um, sounds. I would hear sounds in the walls and hindsight's always clear. I knew it was oxygen and um, I told, called my sister and I'm like, you have to get me a hammer. I've got to let the birds out of the wall. A person with delirium cannot think clearly, has trouble paying attention, and is not aware of what is going on around them. Delirium can cause a person to see or hear things that are not there, but seem very real to them. Treating delirium as soon as possible is extremely important to a patient's recovery. Care providers do not know your family member as well as you do and may not recognize behavior changes right away. It is critical for family members to make staff aware when they see changes, such as unusual sleepiness or lethargy, extreme restlessness or agitation, inability to recognize family or relatives, confusion about where they are, saying strange things, resistance to medical care. Delirium is very stressful for patients and can slow down the recovery process. The sooner it is recognized, the better. 40 to 60 percent of hospitalized patients may experience some form of delirium. That is why it is so important for families to inform staff when they see something that is different.